Uh, okay, class, first things first is we have the syllabus and we have my office hours and class times and then we get to textbooks. Don't worry, you will actually be using the textbook in this class. I know at a lot of classes they, they make it so you buy the textbook and you don't use it. So we'll make sure we need to use the textbook for all our homework problems. Don't worry, it's a good textbook. I know this because I wrote it. So you're forcing us to buy the book that you wrote that you're going to make money off of, but we have to take this class. Exactly. It's a win-win for me. Uh, you spelled chemistry wrong in here? Yes, well, I'm not an English professor, am I? Oh, Professor, is this class curved at all? I have this written on the syllabus, but if I have to repeat it, so be it. It will not be a curve in this class. You should not need it. I have all the material you need in the lecture slides. I repeat, I will not be curving this class. When I wrote your exams for this class, I managed to take them myself and finished in about 10 minutes, so you should have no issues in this class. Okay. But you've spent your entire life dedicated to this subject, right? You know, learning it, teaching the class, so... Yes, I took that into account, which means uh, this exam should take you about 30 minutes, and we have a 50-minute class period for this class, so you should have plenty of time to finish this exam. Seeing as all of you failed the final, which I am very disappointed about, I will have to put a curve on this class, and... I do this with the deepest regrets. This, this shouldn't have been hard for you guys. You must just be really dumb. Probably the worst class I've ever had. Thank you all for coming to the pre-lab discussion. Now it's very important you pay attention today and be very careful. We are working with some dangerous chemicals. I'm sure you guys have read the procedure already, but today we're going to be diluting acetic acid, so you have to be very careful. Make sure to wear your lab coats, goggles, everything. Sir, isn't acetic acid just vinegar? You know, dilution of an acid can be exothermic, so you have to be very careful you don't get splashes or anything in your eyes. You're saying we have to be careful diluting vinegar and water, like what we use in a kitchen every single day. You know, stuff could break, stuff could splash, you have to wear your protective equipment at all times and be 100% alert. We're not gonna get hurt from vinegar. You'll get hurt by me if you don't keep your goggles on. Uh, Professor, could you go over the step in number two? I, I'm not really sure how you got that answer, I'm a bit confused. Oh, well, you see, with this reactant here, we'll end up with this product. And, you know, the mechanism for it is totally trivial. I'm sure you don't need help working that out. Anyone could do that. No, no, I think the mechanism was, like, the main thing I needed worked out. What was that? You said you were good to go and don't need anything worked out? Well, awesome. With that, class is over for today. I'll see you guys next week. Professor, do you see that one nitrogen on the on the molecule? I, I was wondering how that got there. Could you go back and explain for me? Oh, do you mean uh, this oxygen here? Yeah, that was from the reactant back in step four. No, 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 no. The nitrogen in the molecule? Oh, you mean this alcohol group? Yes. We deprotected that earlier, and that's how we got the alcohol group back there. No, I I'm talking about the nitrogen on the on the right hand side of the molecule, right there. Oh, my bad. I see. You're talking about the the carbonyl on the left side of the molecule. Yes. Uh, so that was back in step six. There is literally one nitrogen in this entire molecule. Okay, class, now that we've gotten through the syllabus, I want you to know that I'm here for literally anything you need. I have my email list at the top. Be sure to email me about any questions you have. If my email's taking too long or you can't get a hold of me, I have my office phone number. Be sure to just call me up in my office. You know, I have my hours listed there. I'll answer any questions you need and help you. You know, if my office number doesn't work, if you see here, I have my mailing address, so... You can send me a letter or, you know what, even just show up at my house and if you're busy, I have my cell phone there. You can be sure to call me. Uh, uh, you, you know what, if you can't get a hold of me, oh, I'm going to write my wife's cell phone on the board. Be sure to call her. She might be able to get a hold of me and I can help you. And 
I, I mean it, literally anything. Be sure to call me if you need help with anything. I, I had a student who ran out of eggs while baking the other day. Uh, she called me, I went to the store, got her some more eggs. You know what they say, baking is just edible chemistry. So yeah, anything you need, be sure to call me.